the whole Alamo board that's responsible for this. They love the video archaeology project and are behind it 100 percent. I challenge the board that is Texans. We should top any donation given to date. So $3,100. It's also a bit of a challenge. I'd like to see somebody make me eat my hat, although not my favorite one I was wearing yesterday. <laughs> so I would like that to be topped, and I will happily eat crow and listen to you brag about how you beat us. So please donate. That's an incredible project. Second, I didn't, nobody raised for money or anything. OK. <laughs> I see all of you. All right. The second one, it was a, a long project, and it was because I think it was really cool, but the art takes a long time. Many of you would have seen me at Sasquan, where we were finally able to give out the Hero Awards, which I promised people. I gave them a ribbon at closing ceremonies and said, this, I've got a really cool idea, but it's going to take a while to see fruition, and it was going to take time to produce. The award that has been loved by many is the creative genius of Vincent Villafranca, who I'd, I'd like him to step up and say a few words and help me with something. Uh, well, I want to just uh, say uh, welcome to Fort Worth. I'm not a native Fort Worth, but my wife is, and it's really a pleasure to see everybody here. Um, I uh, was really happy to be involved with the Hugo ceremony and the, the award making back in 2013. And when they asked me to make the Hero Award, I was just even that more, much more happier. Um, and the Hugo uh, award base of 2013. Now that was guaranteed for 3,500 years. The hero awards are guaranteed for 4,000 years. So I had to up it just a little bit. So uh, with um, with that said, if Joyce would please come up. <laughs> I, I had my seven samurai, which I named, and we had a lot of heroes, but these were my personal ones, and I'm so thrilled that I've, she's getting to get the award here in person, and that Vince is getting to participate. So I can give you the video of the casting. I took a, a video of the casting when it was done. So if you, you were great. Oh yeah. Um, Sorry, Vincent, all the people at Sasquatch had to do this. Vincent, his request was he wanted you to wear the bandana. Okay. Willie, Nelson Willie Nelson style, but people were very creative with a bunch of different ways. <laughs> but he's here and going to make you wear it Willie Nelson style. All right, now. Stay gold, Pony Boy, stay gold. <laughs> Lone Star Country would not have been the success it was, but for the hard work of so very many people, uh, most especially the Seven Samurais. Thank you, my dinner companions. My trick is people make a funny face and sh shock me out of crying. If, if the other Seven Samurai all stand up while Joyce is still standing. Up, Colin Harris, Ben Yallo. Where's Warren and Patty? They're not in the room, damn it. Glenn Glazer, Elizabeth McCarty, Warren Buff. And I'm missing Patty Wells. That pisses me off because I love Patty. All right, we'll make her stand up when she comes in the room. Also, could everybody, because there's a lot of heroes here, if every hero in the room would stand up, please. Thank you very much. All right, do you have that? So, almost, we're getting close. All right. Bobby Armbruster, Kim Marks Brown could not be here. And Bobby is her designated acceptor. She stepped in and pulled our fat out of the fire. Fantastic, I love her to death. And so you're gonna have to wear the bandana and everything again as the... <laughs> For you, Randy. Thank you. Just let me take a 
beautiful. You don't have to wear that. She, I've got your bandana <laughs> shot. Well, I was teasing. All right. One last uh, thing I want to do with uh, Vincent, if he'd stand up for some recognition. Uh, the Alamo Board is starting a Texas Fandom Award. And it's going to be called the Copperhead. You can research it by going reading the art showcase for Sasquan that Sarah Felix did. It explains the history of why the Copperhead is important to this award. Um, Vincent is going to design it and create it. It will be given out some years, some years multiple times, some years not. We'll rotate it through the major Texas conventions. And if Scott Zrubek, the president of Alamo, would stand up here, and Karen Mesh, can we give them the mic? Yes, the Alamo board uh, made the decision this afternoon to uh, go forward with this award, and the first recipient was decided at the same time. It was a fairly easy decision because Texas Smoftum, fandom, and conventions lost a major friend, fan, and smoff this year. So the first recipient will be Fred Duarte. <laughs> Okay, please sit down. I'm sure Fred in, in heaven is just laughing his ass off right now. This, is, this, this would just impress the heck out of him. I would like to say, on behalf of his son Matthew and I, that we were kind of overwhelmed by the Facebook postings, a number of personal cards that I received from around the country. And it meant a lot to Matthew and it means a lot to me. So thank you very much. And our current plan is to award that, hopefully, with Matthew in attendance, if he can make it, at this year's Armadillicon. All right.